Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Take It Personally, Babe, It Just Ain't Your Story. I'm Danger Kitty, and currently, we just dealt with the mother of Akira after she came in and told us that Taylor straight up harassed Akira big time, had a lot of homophobic remarks to make. Nobody's happy. So, at the end of the ep last episode, we were left with this option. Stop her to ask one more, stop her with one more question or let her go. I don't know. You know what? Let's let's stop her with one more question and see how that turns out. I just saved the game, so I will unfuck myself if necessary. Wait, Miss Yamazaki. She turns back to face me. Yes, Mr. Rook. How are they doing? Is Akira doing better? I'm glad you asked. Okay, good. So we made the right choice. They're back together, if that's what you mean. Akira was feeling vulnerable, but Nolan, the sweetheart, stayed over all night to make sure he was okay. I think he's doing a lot better now. Nolan was furious, though. He was holding in, he was holding in a lot when he heard that Taylor had, what Taylor had said for Akira's sake. He was trying to be brave, but I worry about him. That's rough. He always seems sensitive about the subject, too. Oh, so you understand. Well, I think he'll be fine. They're a good influence on each other. Just please deal with Taylor before Nolan makes a rash decision. I'm about to object to say that sounds awful threatening. But to be honest, if I had someone do that to someone I loved, I'd probably do something stupid too. I'm not going to hold it against either, so long as she does so long as he doesn't act on it. I will. Thanks. Goodbye now. Bye. Tough words for me talking about having her expelled. I have no idea what that process is like, but tuition here isn't exactly cheap. It'd probably be very difficult. Uh... Not that Taylor knows that. It's a good threat, anyway. I really hope it won't come to testing it. I go back to sit at my desk, trying to get my thoughts back in order. I'm going to have to deal with Taylor later, of course, but I still do have to- I still do have a class to teach today. Uh... I start to focus on that, reviewing my notes just to be sure, as the class slowly comes in. Uh, let's see what's wrong with the carrot. Oh yeah, it was Taylor, look at her wall. Okay. Hi, Mr. Rook! Hi. She goes to sit down without saying another word. I guess she can probably tell that I'm stressed. Eventually the rest of the class starts to file in, although I'm really only interested in a certain pair who come in at the same time. Wait, Nolan, Akira? Hi, sir. Sup. Oh, I'm sorry about the uniform, but it's... Relax. Nobody cares about the dress code. That's not what I was going to say. Oh. I heard about what happened. I'm going to have some strong words... Some very strong words with her, so... Nolan, I know you're probably still angry, but let me handle it, okay? Fine. You're going to deal with that bitch? I can tell he's holding in a lot of stronger words than that. He's probably more than a little embarrassed. He wants to be the strong man protecting his boyfriend, I imagine, but it is better if I deal with it. Easy. I'll talk to her, but you have to be calm. And Akira, next time there's something wrong, tell me right away, okay? See, oh my god, do you know what she actually did? I knew Taylor can be bad, but I thought that was above abusing Keela, just whatever. Okay, sir. T.Y., you're... You're a bro. You're welcome. I just wish you told me. I would have dealt with it sooner. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. T.Y., sir. I sit back down at the desk, watching Nolan comfort Akira before they take their seats. I've never seen either like that before. I can tell beneath the calmness, Nolan's definitely angry. I can't imagine how he must be feeling. This must be the most goddamned emasculating experience possible, and I definitely feel bad for him. Hard to feel like a man when you have to get your boyfriend's mother to get your teacher to deal with your problems. There's no shame there, but I bet he thinks there is. It's gotta be painful. Finally, the entire class arrives, and I get ready to start. Before I begin, Taylor? Yes, Mr. Rook? In my office, right after your last class. Is that understood? Okay. Yeah, be scared, you... Stupid cunt. God, I hate you. I hate you so much. Guess not. She's such a fucking waste of air. How can someone be so bitchy? 
It's an only sandwich. That's really completely over the line. I know you don't like a carrot, but there's no excuse to be a bitch. Don't you consider? Didn't you consider Nolan's feelings? Yeah. Good. Now on to the story that you were all supposed to read last night. 3:55 p.m. Judgment Day is here, bitch. I have become death, destroyer of worlds. Taylor's going down, like a rock that flies. Rocks don't fly. That's the joke. Ten messages. My God. My God. Here we go. This is really sweet. I'm sorry about Taylor. She was completely over the line. I totally agree. I'm really disappointed in you, Taylor. Yes, as you should be. Fuck you. What the fuck, crazy bitch? Basically, yes. What the fuck, crazy bitch? I totally agree. Uh, warning. Do not let your boyfriends near Taylor Gibson. She is a horrible bitch and will emotionally abuse them. I agree. Uh, let's see. Uh, could you ease up on Taylor a bit, please? I hate her more than anyone, but I don't Really need a dozen posts on her wall talking about what a helpless victim I am. Okay, bro? Sorry. You're right. I'll stop. I guess that's not helping. I'm just so sorry. You really didn't deserve that. What she did was unbelievable. Hugs. If there is anything I can... I don't know what that was. If there's anything I can do that would be helpful, pulls, let me know. Hugs. Trust me, bro. I will. Right now, I just want to be with my... Okay? KK. Okay. How long have we been going? Good. We still have time. That's it for the day. Well, as far as glasses go anyway, I'm still not sure I'm going to deal with Taylor yet, but I'm definitely going to make it clear that's not, uh, make it clear that's not to try this, what? Okay, one of my complaints with this game is that some sentences aren't sentences. I'm still not sure how I'm going to deal with Taylor yet, but I'm definitely going to make it clear that's not to try this sort of bullshit again. That is not to try, what the fuck does that even mean? Taylor's probably already on her way to my office. Before I go, I should check to see if there's any new 12 channel posts. And I'm sure there will be. Hey, did you hear? Did you hear? Season 2 of Eniko confirmed. Great. Nobody gives a shit about this show, and I'm not reading about it. I don't care. Well, that's enough dawdling from me. Time to go. Hi, Mr. Rook. Hello. Why don't you have a seat? She sits down, trembling. Yes! Fear me and my awesome power! This is some serious jams going on in the background. What's this about? Taylor, don't insult my intelligence. You know exactly what this is about. Oh, is this about Akira? What, did he tell you? He seems really upset at me for some reason. Like he was blaming me for... Oh, hell no, you don't! I don't even want to hear what ridiculous story she's going to tell. I preempt her, deciding on my approach. How should I handle this? I kind of want to give her the benefit of the- I'd like to give her the benefit of the doubt and assume- But I just don't trust Akira. Or I trust Akira, I don't trust her. Angry approach. No, just shut up, Taylor. I'm not interested in the bullshit, okay? She seems taken aback. At least now I have her attention. It's about time someone stops putting up with her shit. She's been getting away with it because she's uh, behind my back for far too long. I heard the whole story. With all given respect, what the hell is wrong with you? If I didn't know you better, I would have given... I would have even believed you. Or, if I didn't know you better, I wouldn't even have believed it. This is the archetypal crazy ex-girlfriend story. You're a cliché. You're an insane cliché. How could you possibly be such an awful person to him? Did you not consider his feelings? What could have convinced you that harassing some poor boy into dumping his boyfriend was okay? Do you just not understand how horrible that is? I don't care! Fine! Put his feelings out of mind! Let the girl cry, but rush into defending the boy! I don't care about his fucking feelings! What do you even say to that? Um... School policy, because you can't argue with that. Well, you'd better start caring, because the school policy is pretty clear on this matter. Anyone causing persistent, deliberate emotional distress can be expelled without refund. She goes quiet, realizing just how serious I am. Expelled is probably a big word when your father's paying for your expensive private school tuition. There's a long pause, and I let that sink in with her. Well? Well, that's retarded. That's bullshit. That is... That is retarded. So what? The girl gets to be totally sheltered at my expense? What's that going to be like for him in the real world? It's not going to help you go crying to his teacher for help there. Taylor, in the real world, what you've done is called harassment. Any employer would fire you on the spot for it. 
I am being really accommodating here by giving you a second chance. And I don't have to. You could be expelled. I'm willing to do it. Lol, try it! That leaves me taken aback. Does she think I was bluffing about expulsion? Now I just feel more compelled than ever to try it. I'm serious. So am I. Great, the school has some stupid policy about protecting young men from dangerous girls. I wonder what's the policy on having jailbait in your home, on your lap. Do you think the school would really care that she hasn't sucked your dick yet? Silence. Now I'm the one left with the long pause. The weight of it's sinking in. It's a big threat. And it's probably a bluff, but should I really call her on it? Suddenly I've just been thrown onto the defensive. How should I handle this? Gentle approach. I sigh audibly. Really, Taylor? You do that to Ariana? I stare at her, waiting for her to answer. I... Well, it'd be your fault if you push me. Seriously? Do you think she'll see it that way? You're so desperate to save face that you would try to destroy my life and publicly humiliate your best friend? Come on, don't do that to her. She deserves better. Well... Don't, Taylor. Don't do something that would hurt Ariana just so you can get away with bullying Akira. You can do better. She deserves better. There's a long pause as she tries to come up with something. Fine. You're right. I wouldn't. I know. Just cut the shit, okay? <laughs> okay, that's a statement. I don't know what your problem is, but you're abusing the people around you and it has to stop. I... Look, go home, Taylor. Just go home, think about what you've done, and then don't do it ever again. Just don't. That's all you have to do, it's not hard. The indignant look on her face is gone. Now she's just quiet. Nobody needs to do anything dramatic. Just don't be a bitch, okay? That's all I'm asking. Don't be a bitch, and you won't ruin your relationship with the Ariana, or get expelled. Simple. I... Okay. That's all. You can go. She walks away quietly, and I don't have a clue what she's thinking. Was I still too harsh anyway? Not harsh enough? I don't know. I don't... I really do not know. I guess they went well as... went as well as it possibly could. That night... Announcer voice. I've been lying in bed for the past hour. I just... can't get to sleep. Every time I started to drift off, all I can think about was how awful things went today. Just... absolutely awful. For everyone. What the fuck? I just heard the whole story. I thought you were just going to talk to him, not be the biggest jerk. That was way too cruel, Taylor. I hope you realize that. But before I continue, I really should check those messages. The indicator's blinking. There's a new message for me. No, there isn't. I just did it. Really? I should at least take a quick... Oh! John and Nanasi. Tell me, John Rook, she wants to know. Why? You could have saved her. You got, oh, we're getting messages from the from the Reaper? Why? Oh, that's creepy. There we go. I should be caught up now. Or worse, I got woken up by these creepy, creepy messages. That's all I have to say? Well, glad I read the messages. All caught up now. Better go to bed. You're not you're not even remotely freaked out by the fact that you just got a message from a Death spirit. I would be shitting my pants. I've done that. I've shit my pants once. It was terrible. And it would happen again if I got messages from dead things. Next lunch. Four messages. Let's start off with that. How, how many minutes are we going? Actually, no. We're going to end this episode here with the creepy emails. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Was I too harsh with Taylor? Was I spot on? How would you have handled it differently? I think I did pretty fucking well, given that she was such a bitch. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Please be sure to like, comment, and all that jazz if you feel like it. And I will talk to you all in the next video. I love you all. Peace out.